it is Lisa from the Stop, Drop, and Knit podcast, and today I am bringing you an unboxing of the July Paradise Fibers. I know we just did one for June. I was kind of late with that one, and then this seriously arrived the day I uploaded the June video, so we're going to get this out there much earlier this time, I promise. <laughs> so I have no idea what's going to be in this one lightning bolts, stars, and I love the colors. The colors kind of scream like diner, like 50s diner maybe, I'm not sure. I don't think this is going to be that, but um, yeah, I love this packaging, so I can't wait to see what's in here. So without any further ado, let's open it. I always like to start with the cards. So, ooh, okay. Annunciation, Paradise Fibers, July 2023 Fiber Club newsletter. Annunciation. This is still giving me nothing, guys. I have no idea. Okay, let's read this. Oh my goodness. All right, we have, this is not, <laughs> This is not aligning to me with like my vision of, of this, this. I, I'm very curious because this is very contradictory in my, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this first to see if I get any hints here. Fra Angelica's The Annunciation has caught our eye, especially the colors in Gabriel's wings. I performed a piece called Gabriel's Wings on my dissertation recital. Fun side note, okay, you guys don't care about my flute, but just in case, you know. Um, yeah, I, I'm very curious. Okay, obviously we're, we're painting inspired, I think. It's just this, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I get it, guys, but okay. This fresco lives on the walls in the convent of San Marco in Florence, Italy. It was painted between 1440 and 1445. The Annunciation was unique for its time period because it marks a transition from the Gothic style to the Renaissance. Art in general went from flat arrangements of figures without depth to fuller images with a sense of perspective. Join us this July with two special Shetland wool and silk blends, one inspired by Gabriel and the other to go with Mary's robe. Okay, so that is our content. So, all right, we are going to have four ounces of Angel's Wings, which is a red Shetland wool, 75%, and 25% shimmering gold mulberry silk. All right, I think that's going to be, all right, so we've got, we've got this bag and we've got this bag. So I'm sure that this one is the angel's wing. So let's go ahead and open this one up. All right, well, this is gorgeous. This is very beautiful. This definitely, I don't know if this speaks like angel's wing to me, but it definitely feels very, very fiery. So it's, um, let me open it up a little bit here so we can have a, have a look. It's gorgeous. I definitely feel like it does not go with my top, which I picked out to match the bag, thinking I was gonna coordinate. This video, you guys, I don't know. I try, I try. It's gorgeous, so there's definitely a gold shimmer in there. So it's red, 75% red Shetland wool, 25% shimmering gold mulberry silk. Okay, so that's pretty fancy. And then the other one is four ounces of Mary's robe. It's 75% blue Shetland wool and 25% natural white eerie silk. Okay, so let's get that one out. That's this one. Okay, this kind of looks like a cloudy sky to me, actually. So, 
Yeah, or kind of like water, right? So that's, yeah. Well, this just, <laughs> I've got this fiber everywhere. This just feels like fire and water to me, or fire and ice, kind of like those natural elements, but super, super sparkly. I, I so don't match. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's get out the notions pack, which is in this gold bag. Okay, we have our Jasmine Blossom Tea. Ooh, what's this? This is, I don't know what this is. It feels like a little cork. Is it a needle stopper? Is it a, I have no idea. I'm gonna have to read. What is this? Oh, oh it's just a cedar, okay. It's a cedar acorn. So cedar helps keep moths away from your fiber. So that's handy. And then there is an angel wing stitch marker. Looks like that. And then finally, the Eunice sticker is called Eununcication. And that is her. She's really pretty. She's wearing the same color as I am. Neither of us match the fiber. That's okay. Okay, so let's read now about the project. Our showcase pattern this month is Rain Shadow by Sivia Harding. This scarf is not only gorgeous, but a very fun knit. The pattern has very clear instructions and the repeats are easy to memorize. The beaded lace sections add a fun bit of sparkle to the design. I used the Malabrigo Mora for the solid contrast color yarn, and so it will be discounted this month for club members who would like to use this yarn as well. If you are a Fiber Club member, and if you're interested in joining, I do have an affiliate link. I still do purchase these bags myself, but I do have an affiliate link down below in case you would like to join the club. If you use my link to sign up, you will. I will get a very, very small commission, but that would be a nice little thank you. Um, but Fiber Club members get usually about 10% off um, something every, every month for like a limited period of time. And so this month, it's going to be Malabrigo Mora. Um, Okay, and then we also have a new color of Mayuki bead called Tea Berry that works very well with the red and gold fiber variation. Okay, so this is just a picture of that scarf. And I think that's it, you guys. I think, yeah. So this is a picture of what was in the bag. Short and sweet this week. And I'm very self-conscious that I don't match, but what can you do? I mean, I get the contrast. This packaging, Paradise Fibers, was kind of a fail this time. Or, I mean, if you're really trying to keep a secret what's in the package, we did a really good job because packaging doesn't go with what the fiber looks like. That's just my opinion. But, okay. So, <laughs> that is the July Paradise Fibers Club. We've got, let me get the... The beautiful, like, fire and ice, Gabriel's wings, fiber again. So that's what we've got, and I will look forward to spinning this up. Thank you so much for joining me again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.